I have been feeling well, so yes, I have made videos, but also I got from work, not now I'm shocked yet. This is pretty much my icon, my YouTube icon. Yes, it's going, it's for my cat, my purse doesn't look around on the screen, because of the game screen. But anyway, I got that in store, it's not for sale yet. I just get over cold. Yes, I, I got these new, uh, blue light reading readers that help me look at the computer screen. And, uh, also, the main topic, like I said, I've been playing Save the World a little bit, and I realized something. Save the World map is a completely different map from the original map, and it's not part of this map either. In all two worlds, Pink Black Engine has a story, and it has the husks, but there's big differences between Save the World and the old, and the old Fortnite map and this new Fortnite map, so in my brain, it came together. What if? Of course, you know, the one that says the world map is also a whole other map, which you may see as a battle royale map someday. Plus, also, what if the storm originated inside the world map and eventually this a husk with some storm fragments found the zero point and brought it to these other maps, bringing the husks and the storm. Also, when the husk went to the portal, it seemed to have took a different form. And another thing I noticed is that, uh, is that the husks on Save the World, they look like these, these humans that took on a different form, except for the big, strange looking ones. So what if the husks used to be humans at some point, is another question. But let's not jump around the rest of us. Let's, uh, let's put it this way. Start back with different maps. So, uh, we had the season one map, and it has, which has the same textures as the Save the World map, but clearly they're still different maps because none of the Save the World locations are on the original map. Which can only mean that's a whole different map. Plus, like I said, the maps look completely different. And, and obviously the storm seems to have started on the same world map. So obviously, say the world map has to be the original world. And somehow at some point, the zero point on the the world got found on the the world map. And then apparently a husk and maybe a storm fragment, well obviously a storm fragment got to the zero point. Bringing husks and storms to the rest of the Fortnite world across all the maps. I have to know we had the first season map from that you know, do remember mostly. There's all this. Said the world saints. We're not saying we're all the saints. That has the same texture that said the world still had before they updated the textures a little bit. You know, dead wet textures and... Get off my teammate! Get off my teammate! Ah! Stupid suit party! Get off me! Stupid sweat, stupid sweat, dude, that stupid sweat believes in the jump, in jump company, which is annoying. Anyways, I was saying, say the world and the original OG map had the same textures, but they're still different worlds. Different maps. And maybe someday we might play actual fort, actual, uh, but we're able to honestly the world map. Cause then, cause maybe after this map is over, maybe at some point the Fortnite characters will come to a realization that it all started on the world map, and they'll make it a point to go to the Santa world map 
and put an end to the storm once and for all. But that'll probably be when Fortnite's ready to end itself years down the road. But it's a good analysis there. Um, shit. Um, what? also, uh, Save the World came before Battle Royale 2. Oh, so that is true. That, that, that backs up your point even more. Save the World did come before Battle Royale. Although, there was one thing I had not mentioned. There was a version before Save the World. It was originally going to be an all-out horror game. Before they changed that. Oops. Oh, he's a cat. He's, gonna, he's just going to stand there camping in the corner. He's not going to be Just revive. Just revive. Yeah, he's going to be a coward. It just revived. I think you got it. Um, also, uh, husks did come to... Oh, oh what God, you I you bombs now. Stupid... Stupid coward, come down and fight like a man. Look at that, he's literally crouching, he's, he's literally a coward. Wow. Um, also, uh, husks did come to, uh, Battle Royale one time in, like, Season 6, I believe. They did, but they look completely different from the, from the husks on Save the World. Oh, uh, yeah. But these husks came through a, a portal powered by the storm. On uh, Save the World, the husks came with the storm. And on Battle Royale, they came from crystals from the storm. Which... Are you chatting? No, I'm recording. Uh, which means that there is a zero port on the Save the World map, and we have yet to find it. Maybe it'll be one of the, like I said, maybe it'll be one of the future missions. Yes. On the Save the World map, maybe we have to find a zero point. And there'll be some sort, sort of clash between Save, save the World and Battle Royale, where the Battle Royale, the Royale community has to be on the Save the World map playing Battle Royale. But the point of the story is they're finding this cause of all and putting it into it. Bring an epic in to Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, no one wants to end just yet, but stories don't last forever. Like they say, say every story has a beginning and an end. Okay. Why are we not covered yet? Okay. So obviously there is many more worlds yet to the airport, maybe even infinite. But at some point, I appreciate what will lead to the Save the World map. Maybe it's to the zero point. What is the zero point? Where did it come from? And how did it come from? And how does it make all the worlds? Well, obviously, it's some sort of portal thing. And, uh. It was found underground. And. I believe Kevin the Cube is involved somehow. Because now that I think about it, say the Kevin the Cube is purple with with, with purple aurora. The zero point had the cube is purple aurora. And they always had and they had the same little icons with them. Um Jed. What? Also, um so unsafe the world, if you, uh if you defeat the Storm King, when yeah. you Underneath the Storm King is Kevin the Cube. That is so, interesting. So Kevin the Cube is in Save the World. Yeah, so like when you defeat the Storm King, I don't I think it's the last mission. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh, but first cast. nice. But like underneath the Storm King, there's um uh, Kevin the Cube, like half of it, and so maybe, uh, the Storm King is inside Kevin the Cube, and also, um, we had Kevin the Cube come, so I wonder if the Storm King's gonna come sometime. You already did, you already came, you were in a few, a few seasons ago. Who's was in the middle of the map. Oh, yeah. Was in, the, in the middle of the map, we had to defeat him, right where Kevin the Cube landed. Yeah, so, so I wonder if given the cube comes back, then he's gonna come back. What if the Storm King is Kevin the Cube, or is like an 
Uh, 8,000 capital for the storm team. Ooh, yeah, maybe. What? That's oh. very good conspiracy theory. What is, and what does all this mean for Fortnite? <clears throat> oh, here's a bit of a Oh, baby, baby. Right, just too late. Anyway, uh... uh bring my mind to you, and I have some socks. The Storm King! That's it, he's how the storm traveled. The Storm King came through the zero point and brought the storm and, and he fixed the storm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's how the storm came into the last message. Storm King brings the storm. And he came from the middle. Where? This. <gasps> Hold on, I have this thought real quick. I wonder if, um... Oh, that was clear. I wonder if Kevin the Q, if he comes back, um, then I wonder if the Storm King will come back and then destroy this map, and then we would have to go in to save the world map. That makes sense, don't it? Yeah. Well, let's see what the Fortnite developers say. Although, from my experience with the YouTubers, if, if, we, if this idea is packed together enough, they could do it to number four and take it. Hey, you've been a good friend. Oh, ooh, a star. I just got the car out of the way. Now I can drive the car out of the way. But like I said, sometimes if the developers like the idea enough, they'll use it, the idea. Yeah. So if they see your video, then maybe they will get an idea. Uh, we might be finding a whole other turn to the story that we might be inside of. Yeah. And on that note, Storm King Storm. That's the great king, wizard, because of course he's the king. But what is Storm King's goal? Obviously, it is for all the maps. But that makes these a question. That one eyed monster, why did it want the zero point? Unless that monster was a Storm King's pet. <laughs> yeah. You know the mind blow, blow idea? Remember that mind blow idea? That mind blow idea. You know the Ice King and the Fire King? What if yeah. the Storm King is a third brother and he's just corrupted? <gasps> Dang. Where did the uh, zero point even like come from? I'm, I'm thinking maybe the Storm King wanted to travel to a different world, made the Zero Point himself with his powers, because because uh, the Zero Point is some kind of storm, so what if it's some sort of magical magical storm piece thing that he made from the storm? Yeah. And like, like I said, what if he's a, a brother of Ice King and Fire King? And, and, and it is corrupted. And the reason the monster, when I monster, wanted the uh, zero point is that he came, he came out of the ice king, from the ice king's castle, and the ice castle on top of it. So, well, that that ice king made that monster to try to destroy the zero point to stop his, to stop the the uh, storm king. Yeah. Hmm. But of course. Well, and also, uh, there's some. Um... That dude in the zero point, remember how he's like holding it, kind of? He's trapped inside of it? Yeah. Yeah, and he said, he said something along the lines of like, uh, Mando, if, if I help you, then you have to do something for me. I wonder if like, maybe... Yeah, he was supposed to be helping him find the sisters. Mandalorian. Yeah, I wonder if, I wonder if his... Like, the Storm King maybe has his sister, and then Mandalorian's gonna have to fight him. 
<laughs> no, so next we're going to find some some three sisters of a found of a some sort of uh, organization. That you want to stop for some reason. That organization maybe could be. I think it's the organization. The storm king. I, I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking the organization we're going to was for because Jonesy know seems to know who the sisters are and says he can get to the foundation to them. And once that lady Jojo was talking to on his headset before he, before he left the organization, one of one of the sisters, and one of their other alliance with the Storm King. Oh yeah. Hmm. What? What are we opening over here? What kind of can of beans are we opening? <laughs> Real. Or unless they're not with the Storm King, but they're still evil themselves and want the same power the Storm King does. Yeah. Leave one epic fight conclusion thing. Uh, the person who puts the lights behind us. The what? <laughs> the person we have a uh, bounty on, he's behind us. And the question is, who is the Storm King? And what does he look like when he's not in his big form? And I've been thinking on that, and I remember when the Ice King skin and the Firelight skin was in the item shop, there was this other skin. He was this partly dragon guy with horns. Horns very similar to the Storm King. What if that said dragon guy is the Storm King? That's not that's everything I have about you on. <laughs> but did you know I said that? He's moving this way. Yeah, you know what I said? That dragon guy is. That dragon guy is. I was, I was trying to figure out who is the, the dragon guy, the storm king and his not monster form and what it was it looked like. I was thinking, you remember this blue dragon skin guy that came out with the ice king and the fire king? Yeah. That people always want to play him as one of their servants? His horns are very yeah. similar to the storm king's horns. I noticed. Ooh, yeah. What if he is the storm king? <gasps> no way. <laughs> I mean, he looks corrupt enough, he's part dragon. But crazy just dragon eggs. What if those dragon eggs are his children, and he's planning to use them at some point, but they got destroyed with the world, or so he's sake. What if he brought them with him to another wor world, and it's somewhere else? Dang. Also, there's like bunkers around the map. Yeah, those mystery so bunkers. We don't even know what's in them yet. And they've been showing up since season one. Yeah, I wonder if the. That organization <clears throat> is down there. <clears throat> Maybe. Uh oh. Uh -oh. How the hell did send you two damage? I cracked him. I, I did send you two damage with the bow. Ah, uh, he's super weak. He's whited. It is. I'm trying to hit him with a bow, he's just sparing the AR shot. How does Death shot? I've hit him so many times. Huh? I love myself, I'm gonna have to take a, I need to take a hill break. One of them is the person we need to eliminate too. Okay, I finished my heal break. Oh, the first we need to make right here. I improvise four. He's fighting somebody. Yeah, okay, we need to go towards him, of course. Got him! Yeah! Now this other guy. Uh, I say, let me take you. Storm go away! Oh, you're shooting a wolf. Okay, we need to find some shield. Okay, back to Saint King. But, it, but that brings me to another question. It's the storm, those dragon eggs are the Storm King's children. Where do you get these jagged powers? How do you get corrupted? 
and who and who is is his is his counterpart. Yeah. And the person up ahead. Okay. Hmm. He wants to take over both worlds. Well, you mean all two worlds? Well, that's what it's because what's the story? But there's infinite worlds. He might want to try to take over yeah. all, the, all the infinite worlds. Or as someone say, take over reality. That's what we're going to put it. And to make the portal, he could find the powers he already had, plus the storm powers, to make the portal. Yeah. The zero portal. We're surrounded. Why do I have 36 mechanical parts? How is that guy so accurate? We need to get the safe stuff somehow and they have us surrounded. Medkit, medkit. Oh wait, you have me. I have 36 mechanical parts. How'd you come across that? Look, I'll show you. Yeah. How much how much blow ammo do you have? I have eleven. I have six. Okay. So the storm king obviously wants infinite power to roll with all the infinite realities. Oh, do you have another med kit? I do. But when you say it's safe, I'm not gonna let us. I just got knocked by a stupid headshot.
Wow. Somebody had the flame bow. I did. I did do it. Yeah, that, that was that, a little bit health. Guys, I'm still doing 13 stories, yeah. Alright, uh, was it? King and the Fire King fell to stop the Storm King is because they're too busy drinking and fighting amongst themselves to really pay attention to the Storm King to stop him. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> also, it makes sense because they each had their own music power. The Ice King could make it snow, the, the, the Fire King could make it like summer, fall, and the Storm King brings the storm. Yeah. And then it's put to Zar, they were meant to work in harmony and break in, in break normal weather cycles. But but when when they came around enough but but when they when their parents passed they say instead of working together like they should, they all started fighting amongst each other. Ooh. All hungry with their powers. Yeah. And the events has finally come, come down to only one person that can stop him. Most people probably taking the foundation. Yeah. But I'm like, nah. I don't think so. <laughs> because <laughs> this new skin was introduced and the skin is literally the season one map. And what if, when it went to the portal, instead of becoming the story like I decided what if it became that beam and what if it's the one that has to stop the storm king dang hmm. these are very good conspiracy theories they all make sense where everybody else is busy plotting when, when Fortnite is Coming back to Android and what the next life it will be, I'm sticking on every. I'm sticking on everything. I know. I know YouTube is loving all this right now. I'm talking about because because this YouTuber loves lore, as he calls it. Markiplier, Markiplier is more. Markiplier is more than talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know a lot of people go like my my thoughts and my lore because uh, a lot of people are in Fortnite for the story. That's why somebody's still playing. You don't even see it's not that yet. They play for the story. Yeah. Speaking of save the world, wanna play it sometime? Yeah, sure. Although, it's how you see what I had uploaded there when I went to save the world, just gave me a blue screen. Weird. Oh, no, for the bridge, or what? Huh. Also, I have to change my settings to play save the world because the settings they use on, use on, uh, 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 what's it called? Settings they use on Battle Royale, the one that we use on save the world. Why? Um, because they wrote, like I said, still has the older graphics. They, they, they end up with oh. graphics. They need to. Wow, that's awesome. Also, I was just thinking about something else. Looking at this Raven skin, it has purple aura, and so does the Raven. What if the raven under the cloak is actually the raven skin the way the cloak is robotic raven skin? The first game. Ooh. And he said his cloak. Or if something broke off his cloak in an epic fire something. Smart. 
And because of this purple war, what if he is also powered by a storm and is one of Storm King's many minions? And that guy, that new skin I used this season with Kevin the Q markings on him? What if he is secretly a different, a, from a, another organization trying to figure out. Uh. Which one am I gonna say? And I've like, introduced this season, which has Kevin Q markings on it, and he's Kevin Q powers. He actually, actually, now that I think about it, he kind of looks like, he kind of looks like the, what, what, what I, the one I'm calling the, 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 uh, Storm King's normal look. He kind of looks like the Storm King without the horns that he sings. So what if that's the Storm King's ultimate human form? Mm. And he's pretending to be some clueless explorer guy that throws his power back up. Ooh, smart. I'll see you in those minis. You can see it, Walker. Uh, oh, thank you. That will get you to think about. I've ever met you. You happen to have a few more explosives on you. Explosives? Yeah, bombs, so I can make me an explosive bow. I do not. I'm yeah, sorry. I'll find that at least you have a splash truck over here. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> And the reason that, and that brings me to another thing, just move your side. The reason that when you go talk to that guy that has kept too much power, the reason he continues to crop is because that's that's part part of his powers. And and maybe the way he sees it, if he turns all the places with props, they get softened. Oh yeah. Well, you don't realize. What they don't realize is that the players have this prop gun, which they can use to turn back the prop that they use, which is possibly made harnessing the same power to, to turn into props. Ooh, I like your thinking. And when, and when, uh... Also, they keep saying, developers and other people say there's something big coming at the end of the season, but they won't say what. What if that's it's some sort of epic something? It could be the epic reveal. And then it could lead to an epic conclusion and another epic save. And it could, it could lead to the bunkers too. Hmm. Because they've been here since like season four or something. Right. And they haven't changed or well, anything. Also, if you I saw something if you wa watch the beginning of Say the World on the Twitter map, you literally go into a bunker that looks similar to the bunker by Caddy Corners. What if it what if the bunker by Caddy Corners is that bunker? <gasps> yeah, and then And oh, then Ramirez nice. And then Ramirez near the end comes out of that bunker. Nice, smart thinking. But then, what is Ramirez's importance in the story? But wait, why is the book on this map? What, what? Unless Ramirez secretly harvested a little viewpoint so he could build a book on every map. I wonder if the bunkers are connected to Save the Worlds island like, in this island. Well, like they have, like I said, have a little zero point portal thing. Like those portals we had yeah. on the season one map, they walk so you can trade a different spot on the map. Yeah. And, and, and what connection does Amara have to the zero point stuff? And why is she always acting so calm and everything when else is panicking? She's, I feel like she's hiding something. Same here. Like, what is she hiding? Yeah. Hmm. Uh oh, a guy stood behind us from the storm being a stupid idiot. So I'm trying to get out of the storm himself. <laughs> so 
stupid. Why would he shoot at us when he's in storm? Because some like some players want to go down fighting grasses and just die. <laughs> he's in this summer, but I don't want to try to find him. Don't die. This is teammate season. <laughs> Which means to another question. What is Bemiris hiding? This is the guy from Save the World right here. The wood one? Yeah. Yeah, he's been in here. Huh. But what is Bemiris hiding? I'm stuck. Also, another thing I just thought of, we never actually see who, who is the skin that we're, we play when we're into the bunker, bunker outside of the world. Although I did notice something, you know what, uh, when they hold a picture, there's one character on that looks like Jonesy. That looks like the oh, oh, yeah! But the character's head looks like females. So what if that character on the world into the bunker is named Jonesy's wife, and he's looking for Jonesy, who's trapped in the zero point? <gasps> It all comes together. I know it sounds bad. I'm like, I'm mind blowing right now. Mind blowing myself. Wow. <laughs> I'm saying things on the fly. I'm thinking of things for 36 minutes so far for my recording session. Jeez, that's. Just think of saying after saying. I see your face. Coming up and saying after saying for 36 minutes and counting. And what? What if eventually? What and? Oh, but one, we finally get to play on the same world map in Battle Royale, because one, Jonesy's wife's skin comes out. Unless, his, his skin's already out. His wife's skin's already out, we've been playing, using it without realizing it. Yeah, also, I wonder, because in the game files a mm -hmm. little bit ago, they said they would make <clears throat> Save the World for free. And they never so did. I, yeah, so I'm wondering if they're tying the worlds together. So then it would be free. Uh oh! Guys are attacking me. Well, that's strange. He bit me right away. <laughs> that's strange. Now he's coming this way again. He doesn't know what it was. His program is messed up. Mm -hmm. They never even said the name of the person on that interesting one where they just had a phone on a VR headset and they just started playing up the way for what it's going to want to play one. Yeah, well, also... Well, I was looking at the hands, they're wearing gloves. So obviously, it's one of the default skins because the gloves are default gloves. Also, so saying, I wonder... Which default um, skin would look good with Jonesy as a counterpart? Yeah. Hmm. Well, also... They... Yeah. Uh, what you call it? What? Um, you just make season mode? X? No, I made a. Uh, uh, I think I'm super. What were you saying? Um, they made the bunker in season X, I think, mm -hmm. with Jonesy coming out of it with the big beard. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's like. But. It just goes what? even more into that might be the same, What if that's the same bunker that we go around to the one that Jonesy was stuck in? Yeah. I mean, he's what What did Jonesy do? Because when that, when that beard Jonesy came out, he seemed to know everything. Yeah. And he said some of it we, we should... And he literally said some of it is not for us to know. And he says yet. Not for us to know yet. Oh. But he wants to escape now. So what if he's trying to get to find his wife, he's trying to go in to find him. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. And then bring back to the, another question still. Who, which skin is Josie's wife? Yeah. Wait a minute! I don't have to solve that! The picture that they hold up. <laughs> what, he oh, had two yeah. females with him. Oh, I'm just trying to close up my phone. Oh, this guy's not gonna pull it up. No, I got him something to do. Stop shooting at me. I got more to do. Oh, you stupid sweat. Big 
fight. Scammer! He's on a freaking shotgun and he's freaking out of his fucking distance. Okay, now I guess I can pull up that picture. But how would I worry to do with the goal with actually what picture I'm talking about? You can just edit it on the screen. Yeah, I'll do that. But you know. Boot you? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, spammer. <laughs> Give me what I want. Yeah, that I word it this way. No, it is not. I seen it somewhere once. I don't know how to put it up again. I need oh big brain, just look up the cutscene on Google uh, the cutscene on YouTube. Oh, okay. 
It's the. I'm using the uh, glider. Yeah, I was using that. That's like my main glider, but I just barely got this one in the battle pass. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try it out. The cutscene is playing. Drive your second cutscene. I don't know if it's the cutscenes. <laughs> but I'll fight somehow. Or I'll take a screenshot and put it up. long black sleeves and, and the classic fingerless gloves. Oh, nice. Taking. I found the photo. It should be up on the screen now. Yeah, whatever. That's very good. Anyway, so we're analyzing the photo. I'm trying to match these photos to some skins. <laughs> Shall I go to my locker? I might help jog my memory here. to Jonesy. Her. And who's 
the guy. Perhaps not introduced yet. Oh no, wait, I know who it is, I just don't remember the name of the skin. But that says his family. Plus, there's another picture. Probably the sister of the lady. Uh -huh. Anyway, anything else I can think of? Story wise, in other words. How did Guilty get pulled into the zero point on the first place? <laughs> well, I would say there ain't no Jonesy. It's nothing to do with the battle bus. Oh, I understand now. I say, Ramirez was the leader of this, 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 uh, this United, this, uh, military force, and their mission was to, to investigate The, uh, the mission was to investigate the zero point that mysteriously appeared. And Jonesy was one of the recruited members. And this bus, this battle bus, it has a, a, a balloon from the technologies of the bunker. So what if him and, a, and the other default skins were sent in as the crew to investigate what happened to the enter? But they lost the memory when they entered. That's fighting Battle Royale. <clears throat> then the crash bus could, in fact, be the bus that was crashed on this one, which is a portal of the crash on the other island, which means. If it could, whatever crash on the other island, the other island is not actually completely dead. Just, but it's warped to another. Unless there's multiple versions. It's timelines. It's timelines. It's all timelines. Do timelines, but also we have to do the math with different timelines, which means we can go back on the old map. But different timelines. So Jonesy, in, in turn, can go back home and in turn, the bug knows that happened.
the turn, if I can think of anything else to say, the turn. Yeah, we can play as, and for, according to my calculation, we can play as Jesse's family the whole time without realizing it. His entire freaking family. And in turn of all this. Wait a moment. the video during my conspiracies and I will see you on the next video hopefully. So we're 90% better. Let's start with the cold left. No officer, I like your friend. Lady.